stuff, man, and them guys really? get clean. You can pay pretty good. Yeah. You can make a couple hundred bucks easy in a day. In just one day. Right. But, but it's risky. Nothing where you have to tie me down to shit. Yeah. No. Yeah. I can never do high steel or anything like that. No way. I mean, the most I would do is build a tree fort. <laughs> that's different. That, you know, that's different. climb up in the tree, that's why I'm not going any further than that. So how do you like running the show? What, I three years running, now? Um, six. Six. God, time goes by right. real fast. No. Well, COVID years don't count, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> I absolutely love you know, the show. I heard about you during them COVID years. And yeah. The, uh, uh, so right now, I have three shows. Yours is my first one every year, this one here. After this, I'll be in my shop for about three weeks, and I'll go out to the motorcycle show okay. out at the fairgrounds. Nice. Two days after I get back from that show, I'll go right back out to the fairgrounds for the Bighorn show. Bighorn, that's a big show. I love that show. That, I try not to take any money. I want, I want to go and, you know, entertain people yes. and not just wear my dang pockets out. Right, right. I went one year 
and they were selling drones. Drones hadn't really been too big yet. They were just starting to get really known. And the Big Horn Show had these drones out there, only so big. Yeah. 90 bucks. I could put that in my pocket yeah. and work it with my phone. I'm like, what? That's insane. And I can see stuff from over two football fields away. I'm like in a trance and I'm walking over to the drones when the guy grabs me and he goes, no, you'll just get yourself in trouble. <laughs> You're not getting one of those. I'm like, you know exactly what I'm about to do. Well, I'd break it. I'd crack it. Oh, I'm looking at everything with that. Incriminating evidence. I got it. You got okay. it. Right. I know what you did yesterday. I'm going to send you a letter to your house. <laughs> Pay me $1,000 to keep my mouth shut, kind of shit. Hey, Jim. Don't be missing any spots on that. I'll try hey, not to. Hey, never. <laughs> you might take care of me. So damn little, it takes you twice as long, don't it? <laughs> what? Her feet? Little baby, my little babies. <laughs> I had to make her scoot up in the chair and sit on the phone book. I don't blame. <laughs> 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 she, she couldn't. She couldn't reach the gas pedal, so we had to get that little booster. Little booster seat. Little booster seat. Here. Is that right? Yeah. White dingoes. Remember my black dingoes? Yeah. yeah. We can't polish those though. No. Good? Yeah, they sucked that right in. So we're gonna use some conditioner. So what's that? This is a polish. This when nobody knows how to take care of their shoes. I tell them to get this. You can never go wrong. It's a conditioner. It will make the shoes glow with a shine. Okay. But there's no color here. So you can't mess up your suit. Right. You can't possibly do it. I love it. See, you can shine your Where shoes. You it's this? a neutral color. I ordered this out of Oregon, okay. from Oregon leather. Okay. Okay. What I'm about to use on you next is some conditioner. Okay. That's more liquidy. Now, what's the difference? I can use that like a conditioner, but I just said it shines up like a polish. Yeah. This conditioner is nothing but to make your shoes nice and soft. Okay. Take the dryness away. Okay. You got some cracks or splits or stuff. Natural creases, the way we walk, accordions this right. area here. Sometimes when it cracks and splits apart, you put the conditioner in there, it'll smooth the leather right back down, take all that rough away and hardness away. I love it. And it tries to actually blend the material back together, oh, but really? it doesn't actually do that. Yeah. 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 The conditioner works like a champ. It won't repair it, but it helps it. No, it helps it a lot. Yeah. The best shoe lotion you can get is conditioner. Now when I put that neutral on you, the neutral polish, and then I touched your boot, I was looking for sticky tacky. Sticky tacky means that the boot was well conditioned. Some of the product is now just sitting on the top. Yeah. And I had a customer earlier today where you just take your bare hands and you rub it over the boot this way and it pulls all that off. Oh, okay. Okay. Sometimes you want sticky tack. Oh. That tells you a lot about how the shoe is conditioned. Okay. Okay. When it's sticky tacky, the boot is well conditioned. Okay. The rest of the product is just sitting on the top. You don't need any. See, that's what that means. Me, when I touched your boot, and it had already soaked all of that in, that's because they're thirsty. Yes. They're really, really thirsty. They're dry. Yes. why I like to do certain things backwards. <laughs> the polish I used on it. It has a shining property, but a lot of that is just a conditioning polish. It's a okay. conditioner. This is just more thin. Okay. It's just more liquid, more thinned out, okay? It can actually shine if you let it dry long enough and then and then actually buff it long enough, it'll pull up a shine. Okay. But it just takes a while. 
So I'll put polish on the shoe, then I'll put some conditioner over top of the polish. It'll thin the polish out and help the polish to actually soak in oh, more. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Seems logical, right? And you're just building up that conditioning in the shoe when you're doing that. Day. In training, is that it? <laughs> put, some of that, put some of that on there, your water stains here. Yeah. The conditioner will actually help that to disappear. Oh, good. You got some I didn't know. damage yes. here where it was uh, real dry. Right. You might have had salt deposit mm -hmm. like that. Yes. Okay. It's exactly it'll help. Happened. It'll help. That's an actual burn. Oh, no. And that comes from that salt like good. this here. Yeah. Okay. When I clean this up, there's going to be a lump there now. I can get rid of the white, you'll see the line, but it'll be nice and smooth. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and actually, if we wanted to get rid of that now, considering we got rid of the burn damage, you can literally go back over that with some dye and you can correct a lot of that. Oh, wow. You know, it would work. I, I didn't know if it was repairable. Yeah, it takes uh, a second with two cosmetics, might take me a couple of days. Oh, okay if you're going to do it right. Some products, you want to put them in the shoe, you don't even want to touch it. Yeah. Just let it sit there. Okay. Like what I just did. Yeah. If I'm actually trying to pull up a super high gloss on your boots, yeah. I'm going to leave that sit. I'll come back tomorrow and I'll work on that soon. Wow. Like, like those. Mm -hmm. I can get them even higher than that. Wow. Literal car finish. Wow. <laughs> Literally. High gloss shine, you can look down in it with depth Reflection. of a shine, yes. That's why the military did that. Okay. You're out in the field, when you shine your boots that shiny, now I can actually shave. And they did. Oh wow. They would look in the toe of their boot or the heel. Hey. And shave. Oh wow. That's incredible. Mirror finish. Mirror finish. Well, you okay? Yep. As we were saying, six years you being here. Yes, sir. Six shows. Have they been treating you good? They are. It's the best people to work for. You know? Have you actually get hired? That Jay. Is he still part of the band? Yeah, especially this person is like Stella. He's fixing me up. That's crazy. It's great. Okay. Yeah, it was. It's actually all that was about me. Okay. And you got your credit. Oh, it was now? Okay. It was interesting. Okay, good. Good. In person is a lot better. it's a drier polish. It's not necessarily meant to be rubbed down in. It just sits up top here. And this is what actually gets that good, good shot. Now the uh, uh, military, when they use the neutral or the black on their shoes, they have a tendency to build up the polish with the whole bunch of layers. They really build it up on them. Some guys will take heat and they'll melt that down on the shoe. They'll use oh, a wow. heat gun. I've lit shoes on fire oh. and videos. 
okay and yeah. shit like that. <laughs> it's actually really cool, but it serves a real purpose. Okay. Okay. And it's to get the polish to, uh, if I'm going to melt it down in the shoe, I want the shoe to cool down for about five minutes. Oh, wow. And then I'll come back and I'll hit it with the brush and do all of that stuff and the shine will just pop out like immediately it'll wow. just start coming out right now you'll see it okay so like there's there's literal reasons um, when people say that this is a dying art That's kind of true. I can tell you, this is kind of like the way they describe the Bible. The Bible is easy enough for a child to read, but it's deep enough for a grown man to drown himself in it. Okay, a little kid can read this, but once you really start understanding some stuff, mm -hmm. Extra polish on that. Yeah, extra polish. I tried. So, once I actually started doing this, yeah. I literally come to find out it literally isn't just about wiping some polish on your shoe oh. and then just brushing it off. It is. guys, the men in Spokane, bankers, lawyers, yeah. they want to sit in your chair and get a shine in seven minutes. That's possible, but it's not an actual shine. I'm basically just cleaning your shoes. Right. want to shine, it's actually going to take a second. Like I was just telling you, for these here, if I really want to put a real gloss on these, and I'm not looking to sit there for hours, rubbing, 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 and all of that stuff. Because yeah. what you're doing when you're doing all that rubbing, you're putting a product on, and now you're rubbing it to try and dry it up. Okay. I can just let it sit there and dry. Sure and then come back and do it and it'll immediately start doing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, a guy like me, at this kind of work, when we do a YouTube video, you always got a cat. I thought he was going to take the laces out. Or I thought he was going to do this, that, and the other. Yes, we do. Yeah. And yes, we want to do that. Right. The customer doesn't always have time for that. Yeah. Okay, literally. There's always a viewer on YouTube watching you want to criticize what always. you're doing. Always going to get one. Man, we do these videos, you get these guys come on YouTube in the comment section. Oh, you speak too loud. Can you turn the volume down? Wait a minute. Don't you have a cell phone or a laptop? Does that not have a volume control on it? But you want to control me. I get right. it. I get it. I totally get it. That's why you're telling me to not talk so loud. And you can't control your own device. It's your problem. I understand the insult, but you're not insulting me. Right. Okay? I told him before, haters make me greater. Come on. Insult me, say what you want to say, say what you want to say, I'm just going to get rich. <laughs> and then the bad commenters, I'll go back in and I'll comment, you know, their comment. 
And you know what I normally say? Thank you for watching the video, man. You just made my day. The more views I get, thank you. I don't care what you said. You just paid me, man. Right. The only way you can win over that with me is to not say anything. In which case, did I just win again? Right. Yes, thank you. They still watch. Yep, yep, they still watch. Maybe you didn't have nothing smart ass to try and say to me. <laughs> Thank you for coming over. Oh my gosh, thank you for having me. Thank you for taking care. Look at that. Gorgeous. Who's up? Hey. How are we doing? I'm good. How are you doing? You come every year, don't you? Yes, I do. I recognize you. You still haven't been up here, but we say hi every I don't know that you can polish me. No, no, and you can't afford my spit, man. So, we'll just maybe next year. I'll save up. Yeah, that'd be good. Stop wearing them out. Leave the bubble gum machines alone. Now that you got the experience, I love it. And you can see how much they really do love me. They do. They I do. know they do. They just look for me every year now. I was at the Big Horn show one year. A young little, I think she was about 12 or so, young lady. They stuck me in the very, very back of the show this year. The young lady comes to the show specifically looking for me. Oh. I love it. <laughs> she doesn't find me at the front of the show. She thinks I'm not there. Yeah. When they get to the back of the show, you know how they have it, where the little kids can go back there and catch their own fish yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I was back in that area. Oh my gosh. Grandpa and her come back there. There's bathrooms back there. She had to go. She notices me. She's crying her Oh, face. she thought she was going to miss you. Oh, I know. We wouldn't. I had a couple of guys first day yeah. this year. Man, I was really hoping you was going to be. Absolutely. So. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much, Miss. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. I Is this what you oh, want to do no, with the rest of your life? No, sir. You no. know you have an idea what you want to do with your life? I do. You do have an idea? Yeah. Help my brother out right here, man. I'm trying to work on it. <laughs> okay. 23 out the military, he ain't made up his mind yet. Oh, yeah. It's all good. He got time still. Yeah. You know. Trying to help my dog out. I like Ryan. 
Brian's a cool dude. We all need a purpose in life, though. Keep you from being bored, getting yourself in some trouble. Keep you out of jail and out of prison. Don't get you a girl too soon. Now you a dad and all of this other mess. You know, you ain't even made a million dollars yet. And you're having kids. And this is typical in us, though, as you Okay. You got you a girlfriend right now? No, sir. You don't? Man, I like you already. Oh, yeah. You a good kid. All I'm about is my money right now. My life, let me get some stuff straightened out, and then I'll think about getting me a girl. Is that how you're doing? Oh, I guess. Something like that? Is that you? I'm still doing it. I got hooked on that big, I got hooked on that fast money. You know what that fast money is? That's that money them drug dealers can't do with that. Fast money. I'll make a couple of thousand dollars today. I ain't got to wait for your two week paycheck. See what I mean? Fast money. So when I started doing this at 17 years old, I'd go home every day with about 200 plus dollars. Every day. Fast money. 200 every day times five or six is what? Yes, that's how much I made a week at 17 years old. You can get freaking spoiled really fast. I got money to do whatever I, the fuck I want to do. We, we, we go do it. What you want to do? We can go do that. I don't care what it is. I will blow my whole entire pocket tonight. Go home with one dollar and come back out here tomorrow with another 200. See what I'm saying? Fast money. So as a kid, growing up in this, in the department stores, at the time we did lawyers and attorneys in that mostly, you know. Well, we'd have the guy come through the department store, won the high sign for his girl, buy a new suit, get my shoes did, and all this mess. You know? But that's how I'm still here. I got hooked on that fast money. I got another pair. I'm not shining them. So. That's kind of why I got hooked. I've done other stuff. I used to be a cook. I've, drove, I've driven a forklift. I used to be a warehouse worker. Pet feed. Stacking bags of dog food, food for horses, and all the colostrum, and the rabbit food, gerbil food, birds. Did a bunch of that. Did a bunch of different stuff, man. Mowed the lawns, washed the dishes. I did a ton of different things. What'd you say your name was? I'm sorry. Sean. Sean. Yep. Oh. Now I know who you look like. Oh no, who's that? I got a nephew by the name of Sean. Okay. Sounds good. But you're better than him. I see. Why is that? Because he keeps himself in trouble in and out of jail all the time. Oh, yeah. Grown man still ain't got his life together. You at 16, you pretty much got an idea. You just did say that, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm just saying, this is what it takes. I wish I'd have figured out what I wanted to do at 16. I'd have already had a million dollars. I wouldn't be chasing it right now. That's right. All right, Sean, there you go, bro. You're welcome. Yeah. 
I'm glad we didn't get hit with a ton of snow. Oh, glad you that one year? Yes. And ice storm and everything. I kind of thought that shit was a blast, but I don't want to go trekking in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> If you want to go outside and kind of play around, that's one thing. Come back in, drink some whiskey or some hot chocolate. So about six years ago, the day we left here, we went home and we had to feed cows for 45 days straight. Oh! We got stuck and they didn't haul water to them and feed. Because the snow was so tall. Oh! Tons of deer died. Man! It was about 2018, I think. Right? Yeah. Made me sell the cows. Let me see, 2018. Was it 18 or 19? Yeah, that was an ice storm. That was almost like ice storm. Yeah, terrible. When we moved in to the show this year, the weather was kind of bad. Normally, you know, you remember, it's the day you're moving out that we get hit with the really messed up weather. I'm hoping that doesn't happen tomorrow. It hasn't been too bad. Now the weather's actually Yeah. Unseasonably warm. Yeah, a bunch of people I know are here this year. None of uh none of uh there was a lady that used to get her boots done by my dad when my dad ran the show. Are you kidding me? Her name is Mary. Mary's boot back there where all them tables are right now. So I come in. Mary is notorious for looking for us to show up at the show. Hardly, a, hardly in a, any of them work in the show, though. <laughs> I know. They're just here. A bunch, a bunch of my friends have retired. I'm going to need to do some. I think I'll be pretty easy, too. I may end up uh, in Albuquerque in about five, eight years. And with my son, I got grandkids in Albuquerque, so oh, I'll right. be a grandpa. Yeah, I'll probably still be busy. Were these treated when you, when you bought them? Did they do anything? Uh, I don't know. They were pretty dry. You saw I put a lot of cream on there. Uh, I think they're really dry. Pour my jar out. And they were really dry. They're not even still really tacky. I could put something else on top of there. Family. I didn't even know they were in existence. Wellesley and Division, right across the street from the Northtown parking lot. That's what they told me. Ooh. I love that. There it is. Oh, the stamp. How's it going? Hello, Mike. I got a guy ahead of you. Okay. Be here all day, though. I'll be back. Okay. Here, though. Okay. 
Okay. Not too much later. Give me about 20 minutes. All right. You know everybody. I try to. Everybody knows Mike too. So. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's funny. We just stayed at the Best Western. Did you? Yeah, I want my points. <laughs> Good deal. Good deal. I don't know if they're going to give me a free, free night or they want me to get on the email. I don't like that one. <laughs> Why not? You can opt My out of there. My computer's in the shop. I can't access it. Oh. They want me to print it out, you know. I don't know how to do it. I've never got a free night. I just keep staying. The points aren't going anywhere. That's, That's what they said. Just keep stacking up. Shoot, you're going to be rich. You're going to get a free room, I free steak, know. dinner, and lobster. We had a guy that built up so many points. Back when he, they, they changed it a little bit, but back when he could turn it in for gift cards, he built his entire deck on his house with points. Man. Wow. Mm. Just That's saying. That's what the young man told me today. He said, wow. get yourself a gift card. Like, nobody ever told me about a gift card. Yep. I just mm. keep racking up the points. Yep. But I do don't know how to use stuff. them. Mm. I talked to a guy earlier, he had 330,000 points just sitting there. He's like, no, nah, I never use them. I go, you got to use them. Yeah. Wow. Use them when you get 330,000 of them. I'm a rich man, damn it. I'm rich. Yeah. I'm stay in a tent over here. Yeah. Away from my home. Yeah. Shoot, you stay in a tent, you still got a butler and a chauffeur. <laughs> Mike, you get a workout every day. Oh, I've, man, you wouldn't believe it. I used to be a pro bodybuilder. I don't look like it now because that was almost, uh, almost it was about 32 or so years ago now. I've detrained off all the muscle on top of being sick a number of times and losing actual weight weight. Okay, so even after you stop lifting mm -hmm. and the muscle detrains and you kind of shrink back to your normal size. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can get sick and still lose more weight, obviously you know that. So where I'm at right now is from the results of all of that. Uh, well, I know it takes a lot of energy and effort to do what you're doing. I learned how to drive horses you know, 40 years ago and you have to hold your arms out like this a yeah. long time. Okay. And when you first learn and you're not used to that. Arms get pretty tired. Yeah, you can't do it. It's hard. Yeah. And then you eventually get so that you can do it. Those are good looking boots. I love my boots. I am Fire still fight. a firefighter. And it's because of these boots I can still do everything. I have a trail ride business and a guest mm. ranch. And I can still do everything. Don't plan to retire. Just maybe work a little slower. I didn't see the right tree. I haven't been. Okay, mm. good. I, I thought I might have missed something. Nope. Oh, no. Okay. Nope, I'm not that fast. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a whole process, but we're getting there, yeah. I do try to slow down, let you enjoy the ride a little bit, you know. Yeah, it feels good on my feet. Now, what do you call that stuff? Oh, this is just some leather balm. Oh, I've never heard of that. I have about 25, 30 saddles. Sure. So, I've never had, heard about leather balm. We have... Uh, so are you using Lexol the uh, the Lexol, right? Yeah, Lexol. Uh -huh. And lots of scrubbing. And then this I'm is just, what? Yeah, it's that's how I buy it. Pretty much the same as Lexol. Oh, okay. And then I have a couple saddles that came in that might have been beyond yellow. It's so hard. I put this stuff in a spray bottle and I just spray it on the leather. And I finally got one saddle so I can actually you know, deal with it. Uh -huh. What shoes did you get done at the rodeo? Um, it wasn't these? It wasn't the rodeo, it was the Cattleman's oh, that's con right. convention at Wenatchee. Yeah, yeah, it was these right before I sent them in. 
as I think. Yeah, it was. And then well, I what did they do? Strip the strip the shine all off them and stuff? Yeah, yeah. But I, I They should have at least put it back. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been extra probably. Uh -huh. I don't know. They, maybe they don't have anybody that knows how to do it. You know? Dang shoe cobblers anyway. I can make them, I just can't shine them. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I have a shop downtown too. It's time for an egg sweat drive. We have three winners this morning. Jill Smith, Sam Cole, and Art Yunus. Martinez, excuse me, Art Martinez. Oh, that's okay. The egg sweat will the prices. Thanks Wouldn't come off here. anyway. Thank you. Do you want to take a picture of the direction? Sure, sure. Okay. We have the kids take out all the It's not out. half as dry, and when you open the can, it's all broken up and everything. Yeah, yeah. This is smoother. And it comes off your fingers? Sure. Soap and water. Yeah. Uh, this is a softer, creamier polish in the can. Uh, it's got more dye color to it, so when you put it on the shoe, it's blacker than the Lincoln, okay? It's a lot deeper in the black shade, that, or uh, black color. Um, has a tendency to last a little bit longer in the can. Don't have to work it as hard. You know, yeah. kiwi, you really got to kind of cake that stuff yeah, up. Yeah, you do. Lincoln, you really got to spin your hand in the can, get it worked up. This, you open it up, you do this a couple of times, and it's already smooth. I see that, yeah. See? So, <laughs> the Angelus is a better polish, but they don't only, it's only... Basically, uh, in the U.S., that they kind of use it. When you get out of this country, they go to a product called Sapphire. Spelled like Sapphire, but it's pronounced Sapphire. And uh, they really, really love that Sapphire product. Um, I still have yet to actually use that, they don't sell it here. And then when you look to buy it online, it's like 20 something bucks plus a can. I can get this for like five. Okay. That's a little bit of a difference. Okay, so it's like, and then my guy Ryan here with the camera, I give him the understanding of a, of a, uh, For a lack of a better term, poser, style, shoe shine guy, over a guy that's actually done it for quite some time and has gotten the education of the difference in the polish, mm -hmm. why you use conditioner, when or when not to use it. Real crap, real stuff. A lot of guys just think you just 
slide some polish on there and brush it off. No, there's a lot more to it than that because this, this is an actual animal skin. Okay, and we're literally trying to put some Vaseline intensive care in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so literally. He, he, so he's learning or he's doing some marketing for you? No, uh, this I'm is just make, Ryan. I'm just making him look good. Okay. And yeah. Ryan is my, <laughs> yeah. uh, he's my friend. Mm -hmm. But he's a, a YouTube blogger. That's what I was wondering, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And he came to me when I had my uh, customer, John Larson, Another good friend of mine was uh, doing my YouTube videos before, but he's a financial planner. And when his office moved, he can't just skip across the skywalk anymore willy-nilly and come do a video of me anytime he wants to. This gentleman here, when I met Ryan, I had had John still. Ryan came and asked if he could videotape me. I said, no. No, you can't. Not comfortable with that, already got a guy, blah, blah, blah. Took him five times and I kept telling him no. You're persistent. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Five times he asked. And then I, I, I thought about it one day. I don't know what, I really don't know what made me get up and want to do them again. And <laughs> some, some hit me. Now you've got something else on here. Polish. They look polished. pretty polished already. Okay, so I did say what to use when and why and blah, 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 blah. Now you're getting it. Now you get it. And mm -hmm. what do you call that? This is polish. Oh. Oh. This is just a cream polish. A lot of guys, when they use this particular product, they'll pull out... Well, something kind of like this. Yeah, like and they'll stick it in there, there and, uh, yeah. you know, what do you see me doing? Fingers. There's a reason for that. That's a good idea. Yeah, I can get it down into the shoe better that way. I don't have to use as much. Okay. Does it help to get some of the oils from your hands too? Um, no, that's not so much. The reason for your hands is because of the wax polish. Um, but I've learned, like with this here, the finger helps push it down into the, the pores of the shoe better. Sure. And then if I put a rag in here, then I'm getting a big glob of stuff, and Wait, now I gotta really work it around, and you know, most of the product is actually coming off on the rag, not going where I want it. And then that stuff comes off your fingers also? Sure. But then again, you did say you like black, right? I love black. Okay, so if this doesn't come off, are you going to hate me? No, I love it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I like black. There's, every color is black. Mm -hmm. Every color. Yeah, every color. The color of the real rainbow. Yeah, that's black. right. Mm -hmm. You just got some education. He's like, damn, you know what? This guy never stops. That mm -hmm. Mixture of all colors. Yes. Sand, sand, magenta, yellow, and black. I can take that back to the good book and show you the very beginning. Mm. <laughs> And you're gonna be like, damn yeah. man. What is the real truth, man? Now I'm all messed up. <laughs> when I get like that, I just go get me a good burger <laughs> and a beer. Solves uh, all my beef. freaking problems. Mm -hmm. We Seriously. like that. Eat more beef. That's right. Eat more beef. Burger and a beer, and the whole world is solved. Yeah. Good. Before I crawled through the house and made a burger, and yeah, an hour later felt good. You got a meat grinder and you do all of that because yeah, I like food. that chuck. We raise beef. You do? Yeah, I like I, I like to use that chuck for my burgers. Oh. The 80 20, oh, I love it. Yeah, nice and juicy. How am I doing? I love it. You're really 
fun to watch. And it feels good, too. I'll let you get away with that. He say that, I'll deny knowing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do that, man. What? What? <laughs> Never seen this guy before in my life. No, that's not my shoe shine. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, a feet is wide as mine. I don't wear a lot of other shoes. I can't. I have to have my shoes special made. Okay. I wear a 4E shoe. You got arch uh, situations too? Yeah. 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 Special arch in there. And yeah. Because I'm a firefighter and I might have to climb a lot of ladders and mm -hmm. steel shanks in there. Oh, gotcha. You so, didn't use the composite? No, they're steel? Yeah. Well, they have everything in there. So they're heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is kind of what I'm getting at. So when you actually, do they wear your knees out at all then? Well, my knees don't feel too good. You can see that lump right there? That's okay. fluid. It's not supposed to be there. Got fluid on the knee. My brother had that back in the day. Yeah. Have you already had that removed once before? No, I had no? an x-ray and they said I have severe arthritis and wow. that's how life is. So well, I'm not going to tell you the procedure then. No. I won't. I just eat good. Keep out and keeping on. Keep on, keeping on. Sometimes you deal with a lot of pain. Oh, yes. <laughs> this I know. Now, is that water? That's plain water. <laughs> so my boots are very, very, very important to me. Can you sing too? Sure. <laughs> Some call me Lionel Richie, other call me Lionel Don't Sing No More. Oh. <laughs> I think singing is good for the soul. We have campfire, you know, and everybody gets to sing. Really? Yeah. Which ones do you sing? Anything that's country and old. Oh, I gotcha. You know, Sons of the Pioneers. I don't do that rag popping mess. That's because you can't, man. Sit down and shut up. <laughs> I'm not too good at shutting up. No, I'm talking about that Alex kid. <laughs> He'll tell you that I don't do that rag popping. Man, please. Oh, better remember I'm from the mountains. I don't know a lot of these cities. Oh, I know, I know. There you go, miss. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, I'll be back. Sure. Okay. Drop that down there for you. Thank you so much. Watch okay. your step. Yeah. Now put your bags right back here by yeah. this pillow. I like a thin cut or a thick cut steak. I don't mind. But man, I'm impatient. And it's gonna taste damn good no matter what, just you know. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm not one of them guys, you just throw my thing in there, wait 30 seconds and then flip it back over. No. That's a little too moving. Okay, mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's still yeah. screaming at me. No. So how many uh, customers are you videoing? Um, it's however many that comes up. So I'd say I, I lost count yesterday. That's a lot, and then Let's the day before. Many, just because you got a cut. Yeah. So, yeah. I haven't filmed this much before, so like in one day or like a three-day span. So and it's like my first time at the Ag Culture Center, so. Yeah. Mike, how long you this is another this? about yeah. 13 years now. Yeah, yeah. This is another one of my regulars. Every year mm. he looks for me. Yep. Nice. I even saw him on the bus or just outside the bus. Yeah, seat. yeah. Uh, That's what you were saying. Yep. Stalking a guy. Stalking. <laughs> Come here. Hey, John. Mm. Come here. You don't yeah. care about the other people. Hey, is Mike here again? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's flattering. I dig it. I think this is going to be my permanent spot from now on, though. Okay. I like it over here. All of this space is mine. Kind of centrally located. It's, it's in yeah. the traffic zone. 
She wanted me over here last year. Do you get to choose that or do you? No, well, kind of. They, you know, they'd like for me to approve and say approve or disapprove. Hey, thank you. I don't like them when they're that short. They scare me. They can hurt you. Yeah. Tell me about it. I was looking for Chris. Chris used to sell the hot seats, the hot wands. Mm. I think it was a different company from this, though. Mm. First they got here, went down the back wall and noticed all that. I was like, son of a bitch. Got hit hard again. Lost probably another 20. It's better this year. About 1050. 1050? Yeah. Well, you were next. Oh, I got to get him up in the chair and look and see what he's got going on. His are pretty dirty. <laughs> hey, you gonna be at the Big Orange Show this year? I will. I'll be at the Big Orange Show. Yeah. So while you get your boot shine, can I talk to you about this El Nino weather and how it affects things for you this summer? Oh, he's on the weather again. No. <laughs> Why no? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What do you do? Oh, FMI. Yeah. You're one of my FMI boys. All right. All right. <laughs> well, I tried. Yeah, no, I'm in and out of the shop, and you guys give me a bunch of equipment. So. Right, you're on camera now. Do a good job. Is he? The, is this gentleman one of the gentlemen who helped you with your home renovations yeah. or not? With the extreme team, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh no, kidding. Mark. Mark. No, I want to call you Mike. Well, I don't really call me Mike on Cat Country, and I work with them, so you know, we're on the same payroll. All right. Good to see you, Mark. Thanks for coming by. Oh no. Thanks for always saying hi to me. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll have my boots on when I come to Okay, and just to let you know, with the new management of the show, I don't know if they'll have me there this year. What? Uh, change of the guard, and you'll see. I'm still talking to Marie. Yeah. And she put me in the back of the show last year. I'm trying to get back to the front where you met. Why is, why is he... The boat is okay. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to do one more. How are we doing? So, Ryan, you were just introduced to Mark Peterson, mm -hmm. KXOY News weatherman. Oh, really? Yes, that's who that was. Hmm. Yeah. It's nice Likes my shoe shines. <laughs> it's nice of him to stop by. Ah, I can't pick anybody. <laughs> Eventually, when you get it, you can't help but to like me, even if you hated me in the first place. You're going to change your mind. And all it takes is 10 minutes and one of my good shots. That's it. I get you. You have it for me. I will get you, man. I will get you. I won't try too hard for it either. I'll get you. <laughs> Right, I know it was last year. 
end up hearing a word different pair of boots every day. Right, <laughs> three, you, three days in a row, all three days, you did. Them ones I'm waiting to get again, put the uh, red back on those, we were oh, doing yeah. those black cherry. Yeah. Well, I bought these, I was on eBay one day. This gal had these on there, the Dan Post boots she was asking to me. No kidding. She said, shit, I just paid almost $300. These are Dan Post? Yeah. I would have said mm. llamas. And uh, it just so happened she was in Spokane. And I said, well, shit. Ten bucks. I'll, I'll save you the shipping. <laughs> what is the she said? Come go get them. Yeah. She said, well, why don't you meet me down in the boot barn parking lot? I said, okay. So I go down there and she says, Another pair. They were really nice. Real right. Ten, almost a buckskin. Uh huh, uh huh. So, how much you want for them for 30 bucks? Yeah, you know. Feel bad for the lady. And I don't know if that's the truth or if that was the story. Or yeah. Either way. I'd have looked at her so I'd have given a damn if you'd have stole them. Yeah, for 10 bucks. <laughs> I'll take them. Some people have a drug problem. Some people have a drinking problem. I got a boot problem. Hey, you talk to him about that boot problem. He's hooked, <laughs> man. Now, those are sharp boots I was looking for. He, he wears a lot of riding boots. He almost doesn't wear anything else on his feet except for boots. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. You Unless guys, I'm out man. On the yeah. Where my foot? <laughs> Them Sperry topsider deals. Mm -hmm. no, just, the boat shoes. Thongs. Gotcha. Them things is always uncomfortable between my toes like that. Mm. Well, after about an hour, I kick out of them. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have them gladiator sandals with the tire tread sole. <laughs> as soon as I anchor, I'm jumping in the lake. Ain't it? Yeah. Where'd you get that thing? Um. The day I'm gonna get work done, I'm mm. probably gonna yell that and not get it. <laughs> Just get them? Uh, yeah. A few months? No. Oh, really? Oh, those are nice. So they were in excellent condition. Uh huh. So were all they are, but they were missing both both heel pads. Oh, okay. They were down to the leather. Right, right. Who'd you take them to? Took that guy up on the South Hill. Mm. Um, was it Aressa? No. He's right on uh, David Adler. You took him to David Adler. Guy about my it's height. One stop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy. Dark hair. He's alright, dude. He's an older guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was cleaned up right properly. Mm -hmm. So what kind of a uh, skin are these? These are Teju lizard. Teju, okay. I just want to say, they're definitely not ostrich, but no. yeah, no. no. Yeah, li lizard. I got some of those too. Mm. Yeah, you don't see these often. No. Yeah. You see more of the snake than you see anything like this. Yeah. And then these, when you see these, people. they're usually a uh, fake. Mm-hmm. These Press. are for people who can't afford kings. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of like a Corvette, like a poor man's Ferrari. <laughs> but man, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Start getting those products I told you. Yeah. What'd you get? Did you get the Lexol conditioner? What kind of conditioner did you use? Uh, it's uh, 
Was it in the bottle? Hicks. 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 B-I-C-K. Hmm. Strictly for Zada. Oh, the delicate stuff. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I actually need to get some of that. This and the other conditioner work pretty good, uh, but that other liquid conditioner on something really delicate like that, it can be kind of heavy. And it, 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 this it, is really a fine spray. Yeah. So you spray on a little set there Just for let it five sit. Minutes, no I used to get that delicate in the liquid form like I got my conditioner. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Lexol or the Care For is just a little bit heavier. I was going to wear my uh, black zip-ups today. I forgot them. I forgot them yesterday too. Literally, you looking at your boy working on fumes right now, man. No joke. No joke. When I get home tonight, I'll probably hit the sheets about 8 o'clock, and that's it. Not getting up again until about 6 tomorrow morning. Uh, I try to just chase the fast ones, too. That's why I'm always so damn tired. They're faster than me. <laughs> I know what to do, you know. Daddy, thank you very much. Thank you very much.